Well, I got some unexpected feedback from my Elmer Fudd videos. Ugh, we got another one. Ooh, wait until we get into this tweet. Hello, everyone. I am... I have no room to flail, so I hit myself in the face with my glasses. Mecha Random 42. The one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube harpy. Actually, I hit my glasses with my thumb. You know what? Screw it. We'll leave it in. It's funny. It's a flub. We have backup, too. We have somebody else who also likes Looney Tunes and things, and, and we're going to talk and discuss about this. So, boom. Who are you? Why are you here? Hi, I'm <laughs> Rob Robot Shlomo, and I'm here because I have dry skin. Right? See? Like there. Right there. I got dry skin. But do you like Looney Tunes? I love Looney Tunes. Have you ever you seen Looney Tunes? <laughs> I've, who hasn't at this point? I know. Looney Tunes is it's probably one of the things. Looney Tunes, Abbott Costello, The Three Stooges, George Carlin, they've shaped my comedy landscape. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? Rocky and Bullwinkle, uh, the Muppets. I mean, come on. I it's, do have all of Rocky and Bullwinkle. I do have all the Muppets that they've like let us have somewhere, somewhere I, up here behind me. I even have the Soviet bloc version of the Muppets, the Mupits. <laughs> Doug, Doug, come we, we we see Mupits. Not very much I'm liking Mupits. Well, anyway. We're not talking Muppets. We're talking about Elmer Fudd. And y you know mm. you know how they took away his uh, gun? Yeah, they took away yeah. his gun. Uh, so what do, what do you feel about that? Because we haven't heard well, what you had to say about that yet. Well, I'm, I'm a bit confused because, I mean, well, Looney, Elmer Fudd is a hunter. You know, That's the there, iconic one. Better. Yeah, he's a bumbling hunter. You know, Yosemite Sam is a frontiersman or a miner or whatever, whatever it is. You know, a cowboy or a train Wild robber. West. Actually, he's a, yeah. he's a train robber, really, because you can see he's got a mask on occasionally. <laughs> um, I mean, I I'm conf I'm really confused as why. Which so he's he's I saw the still of him chasing. Bugs Bunny with a scythe. I mean, so he's going to lop his head off. <laughs> I, I don't understand the reasoning. A gun is no good, but that is. Well, a, a we, we get a little more into this. We get a little bit more. That, that was kind of my initial reaction to. And really, my, my biggest complaint with it, without even watching the episode so far, so far has been, to sum up what I've been saying, has been there really, there, there's nothing for me to kind of go into when Looney Tunes is nostalgia. You know, when Looney Tunes was a certain time in a certain place, they're not going to recapture the same voice acting, no. magic. They're not the same episodes because every episode has has an attachment has a memory to it you know and they're gonna mm -hmm. be a new thing and a new reboot and what was it to to do just to sell hbo max so there's this whole oh, twitter yeah. thread you know he responded to me this this person and apparently this is somebody who's an animator for they've worked for spongebob yeah. i couldn't tell we couldn't find if they actually work on the new looney tunes show yeah. well let me give a little back just to be fair uh zach wood storyboard artist and animator born and raised in beckenridge texas I grew up on animation, drawing, and being one of the only people in my hometown, hometown to have any strong interest in said topics. My influences include Looney Tunes, SpongeBob, and Pixar. If you're looking for an animator, hit him up. He actually didn't seem too unreasonable or too unfair, yeah, especially I mean, just kind of just thinking that I'm just complaining about the gun. Because if you the, just look the, at the uh, thumbnail, yeah. The only thing I could complain about this, the only thing I could say bad about this guy is he's got a bad mustache. I mean, that's, that's the only <laughs> well, thing. Well, we're not complaining reason. about his mustache or anything. Yeah. But yeah, just, and, he, and the whole thread is another person complaining about one insignificant change in an otherwise great and most faithful incarnation of Looney Tunes. Have you seen any of the shorts, by the way? Well, no, no like personally, I haven't. And the, the thread does go in and... <laughs> They bring in a lot of, oh, he does have a frying pan. I didn't see that. There, there's some actual Looney Tunes shorts in this Twitter thread here that people have been kind of going back and forth in. And I'm going to react a little bit to this. We're going to kind of scroll through this. After, you know, I kind of still, it's not so much the gun, but now that I see this, now I am kind of upset that they took away the gun. And I'm wondering if they just did it for what? For what reason? So... Well, let take a look at this clip, though. I mean, as much as we can show it. I well, mean, I can I can kind of scroll through Twitter. frame by frame here. All right, so you've got the darts that come at come at Porky here. Okay, that's uh, pretty. That's pretty savage. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's 
you know, that's yeah. that's pretty typical I mean, Looney Tunes. He yeah, falls that's, over. That's Looney Tunes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but there's some. There, there's some. There, obviously, this is an Indiana Jones riff. I mean, so. yeah, and it just okay, keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. I'm I'm just kind of giving well, you. Yeah. A, yeah, they roast him he alive. Gets, they <laughs> gets in a fire, roasted alive. He's got, I'm trying a not to just. In a cave. I'm trying not to play it because of copyright. So if you just kind of yeah. just play it from beginning to end. And the two logs come in and s smash him like that. Oh, there's a chandelier that falls. Chandelier. On his head. Okay, that's pretty Looney Tunes. Okay, it's all pretty um, Looney Tunes. Yeah, there's the logs that come yeah, in. But, but but one of the things it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and needlessly so. I mean, uh, and he's kind of getting he's like bloody and dare. Like, is this Red and Stimpy or is this Looney? I, I don't remember Looney Tunes being really really this almost well, but realistic. Here's the thing. But here's the thing. There would be a build up to a joke. There would be a build up to a physical joke. You know, wabbit season, duck season, wabbit season, duck season, wabbit season, wabbit season, duck season, fire. Yeah, and then finally you get the And then the payoff. This is just bang, 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 bang. Let's let's throw as many let's 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 just be as as cruel to, to poor poor little porky pig as, as humanly possible. Let's run porky through the ringer. Look at my reply though on the on this here. Well tell me I mean, what you replied while I while I pull up the Well, clip my here. reply is don't you don't you think it's more dangerous showing Elmer Fudd using uh, something like a frying pan uh, as as that's a common household item that everyone has just lying around in a kitchen cabinet? It takes some effort at least to get a gun. Like I said, we so got we got nothing me, yeah. against we got nothing against you, Zach. It's just I we, I, I just disagree with uh, with the whole reasoning behind getting rid of Elmer's gun. And like I said, and you and when you especially when you do that, you really beat the point to death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now now that now that I after seeing the clip, right? After actually seeing the clip of it, yeah, it seems to be even more violent than before, more brutal, more over the top. It's almost like they're overcompensating for the fact that he doesn't have that like like that they're and it's not an Elmer Fudd cartoon, I know, but it's like almost like they're overcompensating for the fact that they had to make some changes. You know, okay, well, we have to take away the gun, but now it's this, and it's, it's so much more over the top, so much more violent, so much more just over, you know, one after the other after the other. Well, the other thing, too, is, they're, yeah, they're overdoing it because I don't think that they're necessarily writers. They're not... I mean, they, they used to have writers and animators. Animators and writers, like Tex Avery and Chuck Jones used to be the, you know, they were brilliant. I mean. Yeah, and that's uh, kind of my big point is that it's not, they're not Chuck Jones. They're not going to have the same magic. They're not going to have the same nuance. They're not going to have the same reason for, because this, if I see a 30 second clip that's all just violence, 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 then, okay, I can't judge it for the whole seven minute clip, but, or however long these new Looney Tunes shorts are, I can only judge it for, okay, you're giving me 30 seconds of, and here's violence, 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 violence. So, and it still kind of it's defeats the whole purpose of why, oh, oh, and that was the other thing. That was the thing that was I was trying to remember a second ago. Somebody pointed out wow. that because of the whole gun thing, it just seems to be more of the writers of the show inserting their own whatever, whatever beliefs into this because for whatever reason, they don't want to show a gun or whatever. But we still have today modern society stuff where everything has to be over the top and brutal and violent well, in the tradition of for modern day audiences. So it's still not well, Looney Tunes. Well, the thing is, they don't want to show a gun, but they're not they're not talented enough. They're not creative enough to get around that very well. I mean, well, they think God, just showing the, the, the gory clips and the violent clips are just going to make up for it because they my think that favorite, we're just my favorite. One of my favorite um, Looney Tunes ever was the Scarlet Pumpernickel. Not a gun, not a single gun in that one. Uh, one, of, one of my other favorite ones was um was uh, the rabbit of Seville. Again, you know, there's... Yeah, Elmer has a gun, but he doesn't really use it. Well, there's the... Uh, the um, What's the... What's Opera when, Doc? He doesn't what's have... Opera Doc? When yeah. Bugs is messing... When Bugs is just messing with the opera singer, <laughs> that mm. is hysterical. Yeah. These guys can't... These guys can't do that. I don't I, believe I'm sorry. that they would. I don't, think, I don't think they would be able to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Zach, but I, I just don't think you're talented enough or creative enough to come up with something like what's opera talk or with Bugs Bunny and the bull and the bull. Remember when he was the bullfighter <laughs> uh, or or even something like um, 
or even Gorilla of My Dreams. Which I'm scrolling was a, through oh. clips on the side. That's where I'm looking. If you guys, I'm I'm seeing if I because I don't want to just dox people and no and show a bunch of stuff that yeah. Another like, great oh, one. Yeah. Another great one was Baseball Bugs, which was it was unbelievable. It took a great premise and it just ran with it. You know, what if Bugs Bunny played baseball against a team, the Gas House Gorillas? I mean, tons. Remember when he showed up in Scotland with the Scottish guy? <laughs> Oh, yeah, God. there was. Look at that. That's, that's oh, kind of the point. That's kind of the yeah. point that I like to make all the time is that like these these new Looney Tunes are going to be, and and here, here's the thing. I'm not saying that they're good or bad. I just I'm just saying that it's a change and it's different, and it doesn't have for me. It doesn't have the same nostalgia. It doesn't have the same feel. No. It doesn't have the, you know, I'm not there sitting cross legged at my grandmother's house on the floor watching Looney Tunes, right? It's not, mm -hmm. no matter what, you can't bring that back. And you know what, if these new cartoons can do that for people, great, great. I'm happy for them. But it seems to me like they're awfully sensitive about people pointing out that, Hey, they changed some stuff. They took away the gun. They took away this or that. And my my whole point of making the videos in the first place was to say, yeah, look, you're just rebooting this for HBO Max. It's just mm. going to be a copy of. It's going to be a, hey, I want to do it. It's like Greta Van Fleet versus Led Zeppelin, right? Greta yeah. Van Fleet are a pretty, perfectly fine band. I don't want to hear them because I want to hear Led Zeppelin if I want to hear Led Zeppelin. And don't get me wrong, I'm really in the mood for Led Zeppelin. It was just a, an example of, yeah, it's still just kind of a just a new version. And it's not the same people. You don't have Chuck Jones. You don't have Tex Avery. You don't have, you don't, you don't have the you know, voices. Frizz, they're not the same either. I mean, I, I'm Frizz, sure they're fine. Frizz, Frizz Freeling, Freeling was another was a, another guy who was really you know, but it's yeah. I mean, like I said, yeah. I I, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, my apologies to you know the people working on. It. I'm sure you're working hard. I'm sure you're trying your best. Uh, but at the same time, the clip you tweeted. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. It just seems more gratuitous than anything. You're doing these things for the sake of doing them. Now, I You're do have to point out, Tom liked them, though. Okay, well, Tom, Tom said he okay. likes them. Well, yeah, all right, Tom liked them. But maybe I need to watch, maybe I need to watch more. Maybe I need to watch more of them. Maybe I need to see uh, a better example, because the example you showed wasn't very good. I'm sorry. It, it was just doing things for the sake of doing things, which is what gratu gratuity, uh, gratuitousness is the definition of. Doing yeah, it kind of reminds of me of the new doing. Star Trek or, you know, the sort of things. Like You're just, just doing trying it. to be so outrageous and so over the top that it just comes across as pointless after a while. Like Michael Bay Transformers movie. All right, here's another Here's another clip. Here's okay, another on. one. Let's I see. believe okay, this is one right, of the new ones. All right. I can't. All right. Let me see. He's got a gas mask. Okay. Ooh, big feet. Okay. Big ugly foot. Big ugly foot. Uh, okay. All right. With the gas mask. It's a gas mask. mask. Okay, he's doing so this where, little where... piggy. Yeah, it looks like he's doing this. Okay, little piggy. all right. You got you got smelly feet. Okay, what's what's the what's the where's the joke? He's doing he's doing the this little piggy. Oh, this little piggy. That's 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 the joke. Oh, mallet. Okay, whips off and whips out a mallet. Oh, is that the, is that Ru the the Ru the red hair monster mm -hmm. Rudar? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's it's. It's like they. It's, it's, I, I don't know. It's, it's like it's, hiring it, a new chef to try and recreate a Big it's Mac. Like, no, and it's like it's like watching a Beatles cover band. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, we got we understand all the hits, but but we don't. I mean, it, it's just a little off, you know. Bugs is just a little different looking. It's a little too clean, a little too modern. It's a little mm -hmm. too perfect and polished. And 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 that was one of the other points that he was making was that yeah, the animation's a lot smoother. It's a lot less uh, stuttery. It's, but it's, I want the stuttery. I want the hand drawn. I want the flubs. Yeah. I want to see a little fleck in it. I want to I want to hear the bad audio quality from the time. And I know they've remastered them and they've done a really good job with it. But I want the ones we already have, I am not, I don't think I'm the right age or mindset to come into like new Looney Tunes when I already have them. But you know what? If this is something that new people can come into and, and have as their own new tradition, that's fine. I would really love to point them to the original. But I mean, if the whole joke is just to, you know, it's, 
Yeah, it's probably yeah. just as funny as the originals, and it's probably, I'll even give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, let's just say it's just as funny as the originals. Let's just assume it's just as um, interesting and cute and wonderful or whatever. One, one of the greatest, one of the greatest, one of my favorite Looney Tunes cartoons was A Hair Grows in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Uh, which was Bugs telling the early story about his life growing up in New York City. And like I said, again... Well, that no, was a parody no of A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, though. Yeah. Or yeah. a send-up. But again, but again, there's no, there's no guns in it. I mean, but uh, they get around it. Uh, those guys, Frizz Freeling, Chuck Jones, and those guys are creative enough that they don't need to do that. They can take a situation like Bugs and you know, confronting a gang of dogs, and they could make it hysterical. Uh, but I, and I'm sorry, but I don't think they're, these guys are capable of doing that. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I, I will. I'll check some more. Uh, check some. Check out some more of their work. But I have. I severely have my doubts. Yeah, when I was railing on it last night, because of because one of the animators was like, "Okay, boomer, whatever," because you know they're getting backlash. Of course, they're getting backlash. But, but my response was, though. "You're I not mean... Chuck Jones." I mean, come on, you're not Chuck Jones. You're not Tex Avery. You're not these greats who could have a story around the violence. And if... but that's but look, I mean, but look at this clip though. I mean, he takes off his shoe, big stinky foot, and he pulls out the gas mask. That's the expected joke. That's you know, that's mm. sort of they they went for the easy, cheap, cheap, low hanging fruit there. And, you I know, mean, maybe the rest of it is like that. You know, maybe the rest of it is. It, but, but you know, when, when I see that they're just kind of almost overcompensating the violence, ju just for what? Is it because you don't have the guns and you don't really have anything else? You're just like, oh, well, they're just probably. mad because it's not violent. Just make it more violent. Oh, all right. All right. No, no, we're not mad because it's not more. We're not mad because of the guns. We're mad because of the of the. Um, what's the the what's the you know the lack of creativity yeah it just come because to me if you're making a show that's designed to launch a streaming service we might have we might have some experience with this both of us huh <laughs> we've been through this before yep. gee where star trek discovery so mm -hmm. we, we do have some kind of experience with having people come in and attach themselves to a property to launch a streaming service and i know this wasn't designed to launch the streaming service and they're not like and the whole thing isn't reliant uh on it not the way like yeah. the Snyder cut will be. I'll I'll give them this though. They they are trying. They yeah, are trying it looks like harder. at least they it's in the trying. spirit of it. So they're trying yeah. to make it in the spirit of it, but it doesn't have any nostalgia. They don't quite ha they don't they they're not quite there, but at least they they understand. The, they understand when they understand how to read the map. Mm -hmm. But they don't know quite how to get to the destination. <sighs> So yeah, so tell us what you guys think. Have you watched it? Do you like it? Is just this just another another soulless reboot? Is this just another cash grab to get people's names out there in the animation world? I am Mechareta42. Who are you? <laughs> and I am I'm not sure who I am anymore. <laughs> I am the man in black. Are you the walrus? The walrus is Paul. Alright. We'll see you guys later. Awesome. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.